All right, guys. Uh, today I'm going over the uh, pump down procedure for an R22 condenser. So the system's been running for about five minutes or so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these caps off. I did loosen them with an adjustable wrench already. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and take them off. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut down the liquid line. I'm going to shut that down all the way, and then the compressor won't be able to pump the refrigerant out. Now, you don't want to press too, too hard because there's a little split ring in there. Anyway, you're going to see the vapor pressure start to suck down. What we want to see this suck down to is zero. But what's going to happen is there's going to be some liquid flash gas. So what we want to do is we want to wait till it gets down to maybe about 5 inch HD. Okay, so I'm going to start shutting it now as it's still sucking down. Okay? And then hopefully it'll rise to roughly at about zero or so. Okay? All right. That's it. I'm going to shut the power off. Now let's watch the gauge set and see if it rises at all. All right, R22, you um, you want to suck that down to zero PSIG if it's less than 200 pounds. Um, you can check out the EPA guidelines, epa.gov, uh, I believe. All right. Um, so we're rising a little bit. Okay. You want to try to 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 do this in one shot if you can. You want to try to finish cranking that down with your service wrench. So what you're doing is you're front seating these valves. Okay, back seat is is where it started at, and it has Schrader valves on the sides. You, what you're trying to do is you're you're front seating the liquid line, so you're blocking the refrigerant pass from coming out. Okay, during that whole time, it's sucking the refrigerant in. This is the low side. That's the high side. So what you're seeing is um, we shut the liquid side so it could not go uh, into the indoor fan coil or air hammer. Okay. Uh, and then during that time, it's sucking down the vapor side until it gets down. Now, see how it rose about um, 2 PSI? That we're going to end up having to recover. Uh, it's either that or release the refrigerant back into the, the lines. It's a closed system, so it's not releasing it into the atmosphere or anything. It, you're releasing the refrigerant back into the system, okay? Um, and then what you could do is you could try it again if, if your compressor can handle it. you got to remember that pump downs are not necessarily beneficial to the compressor. So you want to limit the amount of times that you do that. So what I would suggest doing at this point in time is recovering the rest with a self-contained recovery um, system um, and an R22 recovery tank. We're going to let that rise. And basically the reason why it's rising is there is some liquid left in the system during the pump down procedure. It happens so fast that the liquid did not get a chance to vaporize. The pressure comes from the vaporization of the refrigerant, not necessarily from the liquid. Liquid is just weight. But once it vaporizes, that's what applies the pressure. And now it has room to expand, and um, and that's what's applying pressure on this gauge set. So, we'll, so we're going to let this rise a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and recover uh, the refrigerant. Just so you know, uh, the refrigerant is now trapped in this uh, outdoor condenser. All right, so there is there's no refrigerant coming from here, okay? and coming into the lines. That's not why the pressure is rising. It's just the liquid flashing into a gas. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And then check out the final stages of this because you do need to recover the rest of the refrigerant. Uh, check us out at AC Service Tech. See you.